So attraction, 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 attraction. It's only attraction. There is no law of assertion. There is no law of exclusion. There's no law of get that away from me and it just goes because when you shout no at it, it comes closer. Yes means come to me this thing I want. No means come to me this thing I don't want. It's just really as simple as that. So the way that we are encouraging that you slow the momentum of what isn't wanted or that you increase the momentum of what is wanted is first by understanding that what is wanted is real, it's active. And it knows about you and if you can quiet your mind to slow and eventually cease the resistant thought because every subject is two subjects what is wanted in the absence of what is wanted you've created what is wanted and when you no longer are a vibrational match to the absence of what is wanted what is wanted must flow seamlessly into your experience which means you've got to find a way to be in the receiving mode to be in the receiving mode of what's wanted which means you've got to stop this momentum that law of attraction is providing now many are thinking Esther asked us one day well couldn't we just explore the contrast and create the solution create the more and then couldn't you just suspend law of attraction for a little while <laughs> while we get our bearings about what we really do want and we say no law of attraction cannot be suspended but you can accomplish the same effect by quieting your mind because when you quiet your mind you stop thought which means you stop resistant thought and when you stop resistant thought your vibrational set point rises and as every day you do that for 15 or 20 minutes it doesn't take long before you become a consistent vibrational match to the solution part of this equation and then you are in what we call the receptive mode or the allowing mode of what you want